Welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how you can create typography iconic logo using Microsoft Word. So let's get started. Go to Insert, Shape, and take this triangle. And here, create this triangle. After that, rotate this one using Shift key. Drag it and make the size bigger and place at the center. Let me zoom in. And now go to insert shape and take this rectangular shape and here draw a rectangle. Do right click and format the shape. In fill color, let's change to different color so that it would be visible to us. Let's take this color and in line color select this no line close it take this one little up now select it using control key drag it and make a copy and rotate it using shift key and take this one here Similarly, select this one, drag it using Control key and make duplicate and now rotate it using Shift key and place this one here. Now make one more duplicate using Control key and drag it and rotate it this one. And place here. Drag it again using Control key and make duplicate and place it here. Now drag this one using Control key and make duplicate and place it here and drag it and make the size little smaller. Now select this one and delete it. Go to Insert Shape and take this Curve tool and here we'll make a shape by following those uh, rectangles so start from this point let me zoom in start from this point by using control key make a straight line up to up to here So while making a straight line, press and hold Control key and Shift key at a time and close the shape. Now do right click over this format and here in line color remove this line color, close. Similarly, take this curve tool and from here draw the shape go to insert again take this curve tool and from here start drawing so here also leave the same gap at the top and now select this one and this one using shift key to right click format and here uh, remove this line color and in fill color, we'll choose this gradient. And in gradient color, we'll mix up three color here. So first one, select this point. From here, select color. 
you can go to more color also and from here you can choose your appropriate color click OK and at the middle you can take different color okay and at the end change the color again and close it let us delete those so here we missed some portion so let me take this curve tool and continue from this point do right click and format it no line in fill color choose this gradient fill close it and now delete those and for this one let's apply different color format shape gradient color and here we'll change the gradient color here now go to insert take this text box draw text box and here write your company name tri select it go to whom and from here change the font so select this font and from here increase the size now do right click over this and format select this no fill in line color no fill close it now select the text go to color option here choose this gradient more gradient and here choose gradient fill and change the color take this one this one and this one and close it so let's make the size little more bigger instead of 72 let's keep 80 now let's drag it using control key and make duplicate here reduce the text size give 20 and here write your tagline take this one here and let's change the color for this now our logo is ready let's save this logo in transparent format and apply 3d effect to it so go to file and save as save after saving the logo what i'll do i'll connect my internet now in browser come to this website onlineconvert.com and here open your document file after opening this document file here you can see some options are given so here in enhance choose this remove background and start conversion so our file is converting into transparent png 
now let me download it so here our logo is downloaded and now open Photoshop and open your mockup file and the logo here I'll apply this mockup and open your transparent logo and now go to mockup at the top layer of the mockup double click and now drag your transparent logo over the new tab of the mockup and leave it here make the size little bigger by simply dragging it and place at the center mark it and mark this original mockup background close the tab yes and once uh, this process is completed here you can see your uh, logo result in 3d so hope you understand all the steps i i did see you next video